Hey guys, welcome back to Wind Chaser. Um, we're here at the dealer at 7 o'clock in the morning. Um, <coughs> if you've been following me at all, my weekend project this week um, was the new Mandeco uh, LR85, uh, which is um, stands for Land Roller 85 foot. This is a 85 foot five section. Um, uh, Land Roller, uh, what I did is I sold off our other 45, uh, took a little bit of a loss, um, actually a pretty big loss, about uh, $50,000 bath upgrading to this one. Um, so about this mod, it is specced at um, 85 feet working width, it is 5 sections, it is um, just a hair under 19 tons. Um, total total weight, uh, 42 inch uh, drums um, throughout. It is um, basically push the limits of the game really, and because um, of the a number of wheels, I was running to multiple issues, um, like my DB uh, my DB uh, 60 planter is 27 components. And I had this initially at 11 components, because um, these wheels, um, the the wheels on these wings all acted, they all kind of like went 90 degrees rotated. The same issue I was having with my 45, because when it's unfolded, these wings are at 45 degrees, and so the wheel, the wheel would act when folded up or unfolded, depending on how, you know, it's either the wheels that support the the rollers when it's on the ground rolling, or it's the wheels are in transport mode. Uh, they're at 90 degrees, you know, perpendicular to the path that I was going, so it's extremely, you know, you couldn't even move the thing. So what I did in the old one is I made the wheels their own little components and put the wheels inside, and that's all that issue. Now I try to do the same thing on this one. I uh, try to make these wheels, you know, um, all the wheels separate components in the game just would not have it the game is like nope um, we're having a six component error so I spent uh, most of the time yesterday trying to figure it out and scratching my head and uh, um, went through about four different versions and then finally on this fifth this fifth attempt I kind of had to create you know had to get really creative I got um, you know, I tried components, I tried to put the wheels in, then I tried drive nodes, and, you know, literally nothing worked. I tried looking at other in-game stuff like the uh, crone rake and, you know, stuff that used multiple wheels, and nothing really was functioning. And so finally I just um, um, made these wheels single wheels, um, and then, you know, they used to be individual, now they're just one uh, single wheel scripted like that. Um, so basically... It's less than ideal that I wanted it to be, but it works great. Um, goes down the road nice, works in the field great. So uh, really push. It's kind of funny. It's just a land roller, right? You know, all it does is put moisture back in the field for uh, this, the, the you know soil mod purposes. Um, and you'd think, well, you know, it's such a simple function. Well, this mod really isn't that simple. It's actually one of the more complicated uh, 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 implements. Uh, I've, 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 you know, because <laughs> there's so much going on. There's so much um, uh, indexes, joints, moving components, and wheels. It's the wheels that really make this vehicle um, a challenging build, or what made it a challenging build. Um, if I didn't have to deal with the wheels, um, it would have been pretty simple. You know, look at my DB60. You know, the wheels. It's, it's. I don't know. It's. It's um, definitely, um, for whatever reason, the game was not liking the fact that I had more than six components. Uh, well, I had I had five components, and it didn't mind it. I right now it's um, it's nine components, I think. It's nine nine or ten components, and it works fine. It's just that you can't have anything beyond six components wheels. Yeah which is total BS 
because um, I've done it on many other mods, but I think what it has to do with is the fact that it's a sprayer, not like a cultivator or something, or a planter, because the mod description is the same and everything's the same except the function that this has a few di additional specializations in the mod description to make it a sprayer, um, and for whatever reason it like was freaking out. So anyways, long story short, um, I'm done, it works great, it does its job. And then we're going to try to go down and uh, see what we can do. Um, you can see that the uh, joints rotate, make it easier to go down the road with it. It's pretty. Uh, it's a pretty large piece of equipment. I would hate to meet this thing on the road, really. Um, get our cab, we're going down the road. Um, pretty much take up the entire road with this thing. Uh, these drums are probably so heavy that they won't fold over on one another. And, um, there's really no other way to transport this thing except, you know, kind of let it drag behind in a train-like, snake-like, or, you know, whatever kind of fashion. So. Anyways, I guess the boys around here and they did four fields uh, the other night. While I was plugging away making this thing, the model itself was really easy to make. I would say probably less than 20% of my time it took to actually in-game this was actually spent modeling and texturing and exporting and um, getting the origins. Um, the other 80% at least was um, in-gaming and then problem solving and re-in-gaming and re-problem solving and redoing. And it was... Um, Anyways, pretty happy. It really pushed my <laughs> me to my patience to the limit. Um, I wasn't gonna back away though. I put uh, you know so much time into it already. I wasn't just gonna give up. So got a little creative, figured it out, made it happen, and it, it works good in transport mode. Uh, transports really nicely, and it also works in the field very nicely. It doesn't like swing around or fishtail or stuff like that. So. It's all about a process. It, it's all about um, trial and error, and it's about um, diligence, being diligent and sticking with it. You can see that the whole thing kind of flexes as it's going down the road, side to side and up and down. So it's a pretty cool mod. taking the corner here. It has a 20 degree flex I put into it just to help take those turns. And then it also has a 15 degree um, uh, rotation in between the joints for flexing. So um, it's a pretty flexible piece of machinery. And I think we'll pull up here to uh, field 27 and fire it up, see how it goes. We'll go ahead and we'll unfold it. You can see uh, these joints kind of lock in. And then, um, I actually like how this thing raises and lowers itself. Good, good view of it raising and lowering. Um, we'll engage the planter, so or, uh, the sprayer. So now she's putting down 
moisture. flexing going on with this machine. I have to look out for trees and stuff now that we're a lot bigger. So you can see how this thing flexes. It really does a lot better job than the 45 um, at getting the whole whole ground um, different contours of ground. But yeah this is 85 foot flexing very nice. You know, just like the planters or cultivators. So I have my cruise control set at 18. Pulls pretty nice, a lot better than when I initially started. Uh, nice flexing to it. You can see our other uh, rig right there, the uh, 45 footer. happy with it. Um, I had to settle from what I wanted to do with it just because of the wheel issues but overall I'm pretty satisfied with the function of it, the look of it, and uh, pretty much uh, accomplished what I set out to achieve with the mod. Um, so it'll make uh, rolling, rolling ground quite a bit easier now, a little bit more efficient. Uh, the T8 pulls it pretty good as well. Um, the only issue is going up hills, uh, you can really feel the weight of it, you know, being uh, 19 tons um, heavier than the tractor itself.
load up our GPS, put our cruise control. Quite a bit of ground with this roller. The uh, alternative would be uh, using our Patriot sprayers, which we probably will eventually put down, uh, you know, an extra shot of nutrients here and there.
and uh, quick work of this little field here. a little bit bigger roller make uh, some of these bigger fields go quick Saturdays are my only days now, Friday night, Saturdays are really my only days to try to get some of these things done. I'm sure most of you can relate to what the busy is like. do here is I can lower the wheels, fold it, you'll see that it'll disengage the locks, uh, the, the bars.
So I think they did 26 and some of these other fields. I, did, I started this field and then uh, sold the other roller. I think the grow cycle updates either tonight or tomorrow. I'm not sure I last tried. Anyways, this T9450, um, I swapped out the uh, 775e and uh, bought a new row prop. It just handles the GPS a lot better on the server. Um, just because our server lags, so I can't wait till we till I uh, update to a different one. Uh, so this tractor is brand new this year. has five hours on it.
So it was pretty interesting to see the different kind of land rollers available. Um, I went with this one just because I like the color. And it's a relatively simple design. Uh, they make, uh, they obviously make more complex rollers out there, but uh, this one works just fine. Larger we, uh, bear, uh, drums, uh, you know, same concept as a flywheel. The more uh, the larger your uh, diameter radius, or circumference, however you want to describe it, uh, the larger your angular momentum. You know, the more mass you can put in, uh, the larger your angular momentum, and uh, thus less energy it takes to uh, keep moving. Um, takes more energy to start rolling, but it uh, carries a lot of momentum with it as it spins. And so that's why you're able to pull these large rollers with smaller tractors, is um, the momentum of the drums themselves will do a lot of the work. And, uh, a really efficient system. Uh, going uphill, however, <laughs> that's, a, that's a totally different story, but uh, just going over flat ground, which I'm sure most people are using these rollers on. It's pretty flat, flat ground like wheat, 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 or beans, or crushing in stock. It's, imagine they're using these big uh, rollers over fields, something like this. Not, nothing like how they have it set up on Westbridge. You know, I don't know any any farms around that have that kind of drastic of terrain. These slight, gentle rolling hills, they'll they'll definitely. Uh, Stress, stress your uh, tractor, but uh, hopefully the momentum of going down will carry it back up. They make a 36 inch drum, I do believe. I'm not really sure what the rationale of is to go with a smaller drum versus the 42 inch, I imagine. 42 inch is standard. Next mod to do uh, basically is my 2730 to in game that. And then I, I have to update corn headers. So I have to export corn headers and add in all the um, animations for Milo and uh, Milo and Sunflower.
awesome. That's all she wrote. Until um, next time, guys. So you can see we have uh, this large field to do, and then 23, 24, 14. I think they did 26, 13, 1, and 2. That would be four fields. Um, and that's, that'd be all that's left is these four fields. So, anyways. Thanks for watching, and hope you guys like the Mandaco 85-foot uh, Land Roller.